Welcome back to Equipped to Endure. I'm Rusty. Now, I know, I know it's been a while. You're going to have to forgive me. The whole build back better thing through the day job for tailspin, but things are stabilizing. We want to get back on here. Don't forget, I've got five kids, okay? I coach my son's football. I got two girls, one's in gymnastics, one's in dance, and I got a couple little rugrats running around. So please be patient with me. But let's go ahead and get talking about some fire starter options that Soul sent out to us. Now, I desperately, desperately wanted this little guy, this little sparker, to be awesome. It's one handed, it's a little sparker wheel. It weighs seven grams, but I was disappointed. We're going to get him some footage for that. And also a surprise, a surprise entrant. Now, you may have heard or seen about the plasma lighters going around, and I kind of thought they were gimmicky or, or whatever. I didn't really mess with them much. But I have been shocked at how good this is. And this may have just unseated the old classic standby big lighter for me. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll show you what we got. Let's go ahead and start with the micro sparker, which is what they call this. Now, it's a great concept. Now, one thing that I'm looking for in a fire starter is ideally I can use it with one hand. If you go look at many actual survival situations, somebody's injured an arm, a limb, a wrist, a finger, whatever. And the more things that you have that you can use with one hand, why not? So again, that's again why a big lighter is so wonderful. So we took a look at this. And I was so impressed when I pulled this out because again, it throws sparks. Now what I'm thinking from my mind is, okay, like if you've got char cloth and you can just catch one spark on there from your flint and steel, you should be good to go. So if, if you're utilizing char cloth or something that really, really ignites easily with just one spark or catches that ember, I still think this is a phenomenal little tool. Seven grams, one handed use. It's pretty nice. When you get this kit from SOL, I said SOL earlier, SOL stands for Survive Outdoors Longer, or you know what else. Anyway, it comes with some of their Tinder Cord, a Micro Sparker, and then also some of their Tinder Quick, a 20-pack of it. So, obviously, they want these items to go together. They say these should work well together. But you see that in the footage, even when you fluff this thing out like crazy, when you hit it with that Micro Sparker, it's really difficult to get to catch, especially if it's windy, which were the conditions when we shot outside doing that. Also, when you fluff up this plug, when you get it really fluffy, and if you get close enough to actually catch a spark, it pulls that cotton into the wheel and kind of gets it jammed up there. So I wasn't that terribly impressed. Now you can get it to function. Oh, you see a little smoke coming off that. Maybe in perfect situation, good weather, your hands aren't cold and you can fluff this thing up as much as you want. But for the intended grouping and purpose, I wasn't, again, all that impressed with these paired together. With char cloth, this thing, again, phenomenal. Seven grams. Go ahead and take a look at the Bic Lighter. Now, you guys already know how to use this. You know its benefits. I haven't modded this at all because I wanted to compare it to out-of-the-box features from these other SOL products. So that child safety thing has not been removed. Nothing else, okay? You know how these work. And in the footage, you'll see when you get this, if it's a windy day, you really have to baby that thing sometimes to protect that flame. And that's fine. That is fine. But is there something better? Now, I started looking at this, and it was kind of one of those things that I stumbled into the more that I thought about it. So this little device, now SOL has two plasma lighters on their site, and they're obviously not the only ones that make plasma lighters. They just happened to send us these samples, and I was checking them out, okay? On this one, if you hold down this button on the side, it takes about three, five seconds or something for it to register that you're not trying to use the plasma lighter, you get a flashlight. I don't really care all that much about that feature, especially if they could have reduced weight in the package. I would have preferred that, but hey, it's there. It's a feature. It's got this lockdown, this little bail that swings over the top here with the little rubber nib there. You flip that down, that releases the pressure, and then you can hit that button to rapid deploy it. Now you'll see right here that's where the port is for you to charge it which is tucked away underneath the rubber o-ring to keep it safe now this is what shocked me the more i thought about it i realized hey i don't have to worry about cold hands because again when i was experimenting with these it was cold and windy outside so you start to lose a little bit of dexterity 
And I realized all I've got to do is press that button. And I've got flame that's not getting blown out by the wind. It doesn't matter which direction I hold it. The wind doesn't matter. I already mentioned that. And that's a, that's a hot arc there that'll ignite it immediately. You'll see in the footage. And I went, how is this not better? There's no fuel that you have to worry about. And if you are the ones that go out with a power bank or a small solar kit, you can recharge and use this indefinitely. Now, I've been using this. Watch. You press it and you hold it down. And after about seven seconds, it stops. I think there's a little timer on it. You'll see here. So just for kicks, I was doing this over and over and over just to see how long it would last. And I don't know how many dozens of times I've done it. And I haven't recharged it again yet. And it still just goes and goes and goes. You don't have to worry about leaking fuel. It's pretty tough. It's pretty durable. It's got the O-ring there. I was quite impressed. Maybe you'll agree. I'm curious what your thoughts are. So back to the point, this device, now I will say the knock on it. Again, if you're not into uh, electronics or whatever, maybe that's a knock on it. Also, it is about two ounces. I prefer a little bit lighter. Again, if you can get it down to that one ounce range and still have that functionality, I mean, that's awesome. So one hand operation, flip it open. Even if your hands, even if you have lost all dexterity and you got to hit it with your elbow, you can do it. You can set it off. Let me see if I can prove it right there. Okay. You don't need that dexterity in the fingers like you will, even with a lighter or with a ferro rod or with that little micro sparker, you got one hand, instant flame, and that'll ignite whatever you put it up to. So let me know what you think, guys. The SOL and plasma I'm lighter, and they do have another version that's shaped more like a Zippo with the traditional kind of rectangular shape but it's a plasma lighter as well. Same weight, still gets, now they say and they advertise on their site that you can roughly start 100 fires. I believe it. I've been pressing this over and over and over dozens of times, and I still get that plasma arc every time I do it. Now, let me know what you think. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you like the idea? Do you think that you will add one of these to your kit or at least buy one and start messing around with it and see if maybe... This might become your primary fire starter. All right, with that said, it's good to see you again. Happy to be back. We've got lots of stuff that we're going to be doing reviews for soon. We're going to try to get out on some adventures as well. We're trying to bring new things. You know, it's it's tough in this space. Everybody kind of recycles the same videos. I mean, how many rapid deploy ridgeline videos do you really need to see? Okay, so we're trying to bring new things, new ideas to you, and we hope that you share your ideas in the comments as well. With that said, Look forward to seeing you again in Omniparatus.